During high school, in the early 2010s, your allegiance was either with Odd Future or the ASAP Mob. Mine was firmly with ASAP. So the talent that is Vince Staples kind of went over me at this point. Hailing from Compton, over the years his music has aged like fine wine. Collaborating with the likes of Mac Miller, Ab Sol, and Schoolboy Q in his early career. Growing up on Long Beach, but being back and forth between Compton as he was born there. During an early interview with Daddy DJ Vlad, it was revealed that his father was in a gang dealing drugs and his mother worked at a Toyota factory. As this was a product of his material conditions, the gangs in his environment were essentially normalised. His dad ended up putting his act together once he heard the news that Vince's mother was pregnant with him. Three years before he was born in 1990, Compton had experienced a staggeringly high murder rate due to the political climate and structural racism under capitalism, plus the rise of Bloods and Crips, the early 90s during his childhood was the time of NWA and gang feuds in LA. In terms of his early career, he ended up befriending Odd Future member Earl Sweatshirt, featuring on some of his early projects with never actually having the intention of becoming a rapper himself. And then Vince Staples went on to release critically acclaimed pieces of work. The track Summertime has a certain type of sadness that I can sort of resonate with. In my opinion, it's really introspective. My personal favourite being the 2014 EP, Hell Can Wait, where the street life in Compton is literally depicted as living hell. It was within this project Vince would layer references to him being a former gang member. Always keep it CG, Ask my homies for the proof. Referencing his time in the 2NGC, a gangster crip set from Long Beach, it was further elaborated in a dope 2015 article in the Financial Times. Summer 06 was named after a particularly bloody year in Long Beach's history, with the artwork in reference to Manchester Post punk band Joy Division. That year, dead bodies in the alleyways were a regular occurrence. Vince described it in depth. It's a very hard environment to grow up in. It starts at a very young age. You have to establish certain things within yourself to survive. As a child, you don't know what's right or wrong. You don't know how to help yourself. That's why we have certain people that are just kind of lost. Vince was 13 years old in 2006. He'd gone down his father's path and joined the 2NGC. It was a turbulent part of his young life, with even his best friend ended up in jail for accidentally shooting a child. In the article, Vince goes on to explain he was never taught to be a man, only a shooter. Spilt blood was often a motive. When a friend was killed, this caused the cycle we see far too often of tit-for-tat violence in cities across the USA. He says the USA is still playing the black and white game when it is actually rich versus poor. Stressing the point, it's a class thing. Taking it back to 2015, Vince featured in The Guardian with the tagline, I started gangbanging because I wanted to kill people. This is an early brilliant piece. It's about him wanting to strip away the glamour and Vince wanting the media to stop glamorizing violence within hip hop. I wanted to hurt people there's no reason, it's a blood first. The same reason people join the army is because they want to kill. A line doesn't make an excuse to kill anybody, he does it because he wants to. Vince was pulled into the gang lifestyle as it is ingrained into the fabric of American society. If you live in Long Beach, gang members are going to be your friends regardless. You don't get sucked into being an American for example, you live there. Gangs are just part of Southern California culture. They've been there since the late 1800s. The gang culture sets up the schooling, the little league sports. What are the Boy Scouts? A group of people of a name who do stuff together. It's just when it becomes illegal, that's when it becomes a problem. This is such a revelating statement and it's also kind of very truthful. If he's actually committed murder, we can only speculate. It's all just hearsay. Vince is more focused on not really labelling himself, either as conscious, academic, or even gangster rap, just unapologetically himself. 
Vince Staples addresses how black people in the hood can be viewed through the white gaze, unlike it is, and for the video for Senorita. How media channels make entertainment from trauma and suffering essentially. Vince Staples, in all respects, is the cliche story of the rap star making it out of the hood. To me, it somehow feels different. He has transcended the typical gangster rap. There's a certain flair and class to his music. It keeps within the realm of gangster rap, seemingly telling you real life tales of the trauma of real people's lives through their lives and his own vision. 